The Owen James Report is brought to you by Burita. On your journey towards prosperity, you don't have to go it alone. The Burita Income Portfolio gives you the opportunity to pool resources for maximum returns with regular interest payments to make your journey worthwhile. Contact Burita today and achieve prosperity the Burita way. On your journey towards prosperity, you don't have to go it alone. The Burita FX Bond Portfolio gives you the power of pooled funds and the additional stability of investing in a U.S. dollar denominated portfolio. Contact Burita today. Burita, making money work for you. Good evening. This is the Owen James Report. Telecom's Lime is this evening preening itself on being ranked highest in customer satisfaction among Jamaica's utility providers. Uh, quoting an OUR survey, Lime says 72% of respondents reported they were satisfied doing business with Lime. Now, we should emphasize that up to production time, the OGR was not able to get the raw data from the Office of Utilities Regulation. However, according to Lime, among its telecom rivals, Digicel, Flow, and other utility providers, customers gave Lime the highest marks for product quality and accurate billing. Now we look forward to the OUR sending us the raw data from its customer satisfaction survey. On the foreign exchange market for the second consecutive trading day, the Jamaican dollar strengthened against the benchmark American dollar, which weakened by seven cents Jamaican, closing at an average selling rate of one hundred and twelve dollars and sixty three cents. The Canadian dollar also weakened against the Jamaican currency, slipping ten Jamaican cents to close at one hundred and five dollars and twenty cents. However, the British pound strengthened by thirty nine Jamaican cents to close at an average selling rate of $192.67. A 5% fall by heavily traded DNG as well as falls by the big two commercial banking groups NCB and Scotia helped to trigger declines in the Jamaican stock market indices today. The main JC index lost 278.5 points or two-fifths of 1%, 23 stocks traded, with six advancing, 11 declining and six holding firm. Winners included Caribbean Cement up 8.4%, Grace Kennedy Lime up 4%, Mayberry and Supreme Ventures. The losers included DNG down 5.1%, Lasco Manufacturing down 9%, NCB Sadcore Group Jamaica Scotia Group and Scotia Investments. In related news, Grace Kennedy recently repurchased over 683,000 shares from 11 stockholders at prices ranging from $53.95 to $55 per share. President of First Global Bank, Mrs. Maureen Hayden Cato, was unanimously re-elected president of the Jamaica Bankers Association last Thursday, July 17, at the JBA's annual general meeting. CIBC First Caribbean's managing director, Nigel Holness, was returned as vice president. On the international scene, Technology company Apple beat Wall Street's expectations despite a steep fall in iPad sales. Apple's third quarter profit grew by 12% to $7.7 billion or $1.28 per share in its fiscal third quarter which ended June. The company's revenue during the review period grew by 6% to $37.4 million. Now, Apple sold over 35 million iPhones in the past three months. That's up 13% compared to the corresponding quarter last year. In contrasting news, iPad sales fell 9% to $13.2 million last quarter, and consumers are buying cheaper iPads with the iPad Mini continuing to outshine the larger iPad. And that's the Owen James Report. Good evening. The Owen James Report was brought to you by Burita, making money work for you.